this session, we'll be solving more numerical. So let us get started with the first numerical. Rectangular beam 120 mm wide and 200 mm deep is simply supported over a span of 4 meter. If the bending stress in the material of the beam is not to exceed 80 megapascal, calculate the maximum UDL the beam can carry. So here we need to find the load. Okay, how much uh, how much this rectangular beam can carry? So let us see how we can solve this numerical. Now for this numerical, a section is given. A section is given rectangular section of size. One twenty mm into the depth is given two hundred mm. Okay, so for this section, this is a symmetrical section, so it will pass through this point here. Now it says that it is simply supported, so is simply supported for a span of 4 meter total span is 4 meter and it carries a UDL over its entire span and the intensity of this UDL is W kilonewton per meter now we need to find this W so let me name this as A and B here now let us start by finding its moment, right? So to find moment, bending moment, maximum will be equal to, since this is UDL, it will be WL square by 8. Now, we W kya hai nahi pata hai. So W ko waise hi chhod denke. W into L kitna hai? 4. So 4 square by 8. So here you will get 2W kilonewton per meter. You will get this. Now you will get meter to newton dot mm. If you want to convert this kilonewton meter to newton dot mm, pe convert karne ho, to it will be 2 into 10 raised to power 6 W newton dot mm. This is your moment. Hua. Now let us find moment of inertia i x x of this rectangular section will be b d cube by 12 so b kitna hai 120 d 200 cube by 12 will give you 80 into 10 raised to power 6 mm raised to power 4 okay similarly let's find y y will be equal to d by 2 so how much is d d is 200 200 divided by 2 you have 100 mm now by using a flexural formula or bending stress equation m by i equals to sigma by y yeah say let's find sigma okay if not we can directly put it in this only m kitna mila m is equals to 2 into 10 raised to the power 6 w m i kitna hai I is equal to 80 into 10 raised to the power 6 equals to sigma. How much is sigma? Sigma is given in the question which is equal to 80 megapascal. So 80 MPa is equal to Newton per mm square. Okay. So 80 divided by y kit number 100. 100. Right. Now, yeah, say if you have to find the value of W, cross multiply it. Cross multiply it, what will you get? 2 into 10 raised to the power 6 W into 100 equals to 80 into, 80 into 10 raised to the power 6. Now, yeah, say you have to find W, you have to find W here. 80 into, 80 into 10 raised to the power 6 divided by 2 into 10 raised to the power 6 into 
100. So from here you get the value of W equals to 32 Newton per mm. Okay, so you get 32 Newton per so the value of W here is equal to 32 Newton per mm. Okay, so if we draw the bending stress distribution diagram, it will be okay. Here you have sigma t, here you have sigma c. Sigma t was already stress was already given, which is equal to 80 MPa. Okay. So I hope this numerical is clear. Let us solve the second numerical. A T-section is used as beam simply supported over a span of 4 meter. Calculate the safe UDL and beam. Safe UDL the beam can carry without exceeding bending stress of 165 megapascal. Properties of T-sections are flange width equals to 72 mm, flange thickness 11.6 mm, Overall depth of the section 150 mm, thickness of the wave 8 mm, and we have Ixx. Moment of inertia about xx axis is given, which is equal to 4.5 into 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to the power 4. Then we have Caxx, which is the distance from this from the top is given equal to 47.5 mm from the top. Weight of the section is given equal to 157 Newton meter. So the diagram of this T section is as given here. And let us see how we can solve for this kind of numerical. Now in this numerical also a T section is given and it is a simply supported beam and the span of the beam is 4 meter. Now we need from here here also we need to calculate the UDL okay it is a simply supported beam right it carries a UDL and we do not know the intensity of this UDL kilonewton per meter I'll keep it okay so the length of this beam is given equal to 4 meter now again we need to find W here how do we find it uh, now given in this question is here y c diya hai okay uh, the depth of the t section above the neutral axis which is in compression section is given equal to 47.5 mm it is given now from here i can find y t right i can find y t y t will be equal to the total depth Total depth of the T section is 150. 150 minus YC. I can find it in this manner. So this YC here is given as CXX. Okay. So 150 minus 47.5 will give you 102.5 mm. Now where where does this 102.5 lie? It lies at this span here, which is YT span. So yt here will be 102.5 mm. Okay. Now we have found this value. Now from here moment will be equal to maximum moment will be equal to WL square by 8. Now we do not know the value of W. So we will keep it as it is. L is 4 square divided by 8 will give you 2 W. Instead of this, I will be keeping this as instead of kilonewton meter. We have kilonewton meter ka bhi solve kiya. So instead of kilonewton meter, let me keep its intensity as newton dot meter. Okay, newton per meter. So from here, your moment will be in newton dot meter. Now if you want to convert this meter to mm, it will be 2 into 10 raised to power 3 w newton dot mm. Okay, you, we have this. Now from here, using the flexural formula, sigma by y, you get m is equals to 2 into 10 raised to power 3 w divided by moment of inertia is given in the 
question and it is given equal to 4.5 into 10 raised to power 6 it is given in the question equal to sigma is also given in the question which is equal to 165 divided by we found yt which is equals to 102.5 okay so from here if you cross multiply it again what do you get 2 into 10 raised to power 3 w into 102.5 equals to 4.5 into 10 raised to power 6 into 165 now from here w will be equal to 4.5 into 10 raised to power 6 into 165 divided by 2 into 10 raised to power 3 into 102.5 so this will give you value equal to 3621.95 newton meter now if you convert this newton to kilo newton you will be getting equal to 3.62 kilonewton per meter so this will be the intensity of the force w okay so i hope this numerical is also clear let's solve the third numerical now a cantilever beam of section 200 mm wide and 300 mm deep carries concentrated load w at its free end Span of the beam is 3 meter. If the maximum bending stress induced is 135 newton per mm square, determine the value of W. Now, here upper cantilever beam is given, and all the description of this cantilever beam is given. So, let us first draw the cantilever beam along with its loading and upper loading, which is concentrated load W at the free end. So, the this W, we need to find this W. कि इतना सेक्शन पूरा दिया है स्पैन दिया है और स्ट्रेस भी इतना इंड्यूस हो इतना इंड्यूस हो रहा है करके दिया है ना उसके बाद हमें लोड डब्ल्यू जो फ्री एंड पे लग रहा है वो हमें फाइंड करना पड़ेगा सो लेट अस सी हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दिस न्यूमेरिकल फॉर द थर्ड क्वेश्चन वी हैव अ कैंटिलीवर बीम ओके थर्ड क्वेश्चन वी हैव अ कैंटिलीवर बीम and the span of this beam is given equal to 3 meter 3 meter or uske free end support pe there is a load acting w point load okay now we need to find this point load the section of this cantilever beam is given equal to 200 mm wide and depth is given 300 mm deep 300 mm deep okay and uh, next that is given is given in the question is bending stress so maximum bending stress induced given is equal to 135 newton per mm square and then what else is given then we have to determine the value of w and let's get going okay now for a cantilever beam jahan par a free end pe point load lag rahe uske liye maximum moment moment maximum moment will come at this fixed end point which is moment at a will be equal to w into l okay so w kitnai w will remain as it is we do not know the value of w what is the length is length is into 3 so we have here 3 w newton meter okay because the upper sigma max ka value is given in newton so we have we will since we do not know the intensity of ye kis pe hai uska unit nahi pata to we will take yahan par newton hai to we will also take consider it to be newton so newton meter moment we have this much now let us find moment of inertia which will be equal to bd cube by 12 will be equal to 200 into 
300 cube by 12 will give you 45 into 10 raised to power 7 mm raised to power 4 okay now let us find y y will be equal to d by 2 which is equal to 300 divided by 2 150 mm now by using the relationship of flexural formula m by i equals to sigma by y from here let us put it in the formula how much did we get m m we got it is in newton meter so if we convert this into newton dot mm we get 3 w into 10 raised to power 3 newton dot mm okay so i'll take this value instead ye value mein leke jaungi kyunki units sab ka same hona chahiye yahan par meter pe hai yahan par mm pe hai mm pe so i'm also converting this into mm and taking the same unit so here i have 3 into 10 raised to power 3 w divided by i is 45 into 10 raised to power 7 equals to sigma given is 135 divided by y is 150 cross multiply it again so if you cross if you multiply this to this you get 3 into 10 raised to power 3 w into 150 equal to now cross mul multiply this to 45 into 10 raised to power 7 into 135 so from here you get w equals to 45 into 10 raised to power 7 into 135 divided by 3 into 10 raised to power 3 into 150 so this will give you the value of w will come equal to 135 into 10 raised to power 3 newton ओके okay, इतना आएंगे अगर आप ये न्यूटन को किल न्यूटन पे कन्वर्ट करना चाहते हो तो योर डब्ल्यू विल बी इक्वल टू 135 किलो न्यूटन सो द वैल्यू ऑफ डब्ल्यू हियर इज कमिंग इक्वल टू 135 किलो न्यूटन इफ यू ड्रॉ द स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन डायग्राम इट विल बी लाइक दिस हियर यू हैव सिग्मा टी व्हिच इज ऑलरेडी गिवन हियर यू हैव सिग्मा सी sigma c okay so i hope this numerical is clear this is the last numerical for today's session so a symmetrical eye section 300 mm deep is simply supported at ends and carries a load of 100 kilonewton at center if i x x is equal to 73.33 into 10 raised to power 6 mm raised to power 4 calculate maximum span if the permissible bending stress is 120 Newton per mm square. So let us get started with this last numerical. So this is the last numerical for today's session. So in this, let us first write down what are the given. So given in the question are symmetrical eye sections depth. So symmetrical i sections depth d is given equal to 300 mm deep okay next what is given um, it says it is a simply supported so it's a simply supported beam and it carries a it is a simply supported at ends and carries a load of 100 kilonewton at the center so in the center we have w load equals to 100 kilonewton and even moment or inertia about xx axis is given equal to 73.33 into 10 raised to power 6 mm raised to power 4 okay this is also given now we need to find the maximum span so we need to find maximum span l equals to question mark and what else is given permissible bending stress is given permissible bending stress which is sigma is given equal to 120 newton per mm square 
Now let us see how we can solve this one. Again by using a flexural formula m by i equals to sigma by y hum ye formula use karke solve karenge. So this is a case of a simply supported beam. Simply supported beam hai aur uske beech pe point load aa hai. Simply supported beam and ye span hume abhi nahi pata l. L ko find karna hai aur uske beech pe ek point load aa hai. 100 kilo newton ka a b right ab ye simply supported beam hai to iska maximum bending moment kitna aayenge maximum ye beech pe yahan par aayenge w l by 4 so how much is w w is 100 we do not know l so leave it l as it is l by 4 so from here you get 25 kilo newton 25 into l ye l bhi aapko aise leke jane padega into meter ab ye kilo newton meter ko aapne kilo newton pe convert kiya aur meter ko mm pe convert kiya to you get 25 into 10 raised to power 6 l newton dot mm this is what you will get okay now from here let us find y y total depth given is 300 so it will be 300 divided by 2 which will come equal to 150 mm okay what else do we need to find we found everything now a formula pe lagaya to m kitna aaya m 25 into 10 raised to power 6 l divided by i diya hai given hai question pe so we have 70 3.33 into 10 raised to power 6 equals to sigma is also given 120 divided by y is 150 if you cross multiply it you get nyasime i'll directly find l l will be equal to 73.33 into 10 raised to power 6 into 120 divided by 25 into 10 raised to power 6 into 150 so yahan se aapko l milega 2.35 meter okay so the length of this simply supported beam is equal to 2.535 i mean 35 meter let me write it 2.35 meter okay so i hope this numerical is also clear this is the last numerical for today's session and i'll see you again in next session with more numericals